What's going on YouTube family? This is Mr. Crawlings coming at you with another episode on the Nature's Jewels channel. Hope you enjoy. I'm out here enjoying this beautiful 47 degree weather in Wisconsin in springtime. That's how good my day's going. Hope yours is going better. All right, here we go. Back at the update. God, I want to say this has got to be around eight months now of the red eye crocodile skink vivarium. As you can see, it's filling out beautifully. And I went ahead and took a couple uh, alternative approaches. So uh, a lot of the rickia that I had in the aquatic section kept getting pushed out by the trumpet snails I think they are they're just like a pest snail but they're really great at uh, digging through the substrate and unfortunately rickia is one of those shallow rooted plants that gets kicked up quite often especially with their uh, the snails digging habits uh, going through the substrate so um, yeah it didn't work out so well I put some of it up here on the on the uh, eco earth and organic potting soil mix also a um, little update on my victory bell is doing amazing you can see a new picture there uh, right now we're running full light so if you get a little glare if I get too close to the um, enclosure you'll you'll see a little reflection but hopefully I'll be able to manage that pretty good uh, you can see the purple wanderer climbing up the sides really really nice I had to trim a ton of this back I literally had a handful of that uh, and I just tossed it I have some other ones that I cut and put in pots already so I only had three pots to fill and I filled them all and then still had a handful to throw away uh, another new um, addition you'll probably notice is this it's supposed to be a, and I kept it up here on the stand actually uh, this was sold at my local um, you know, uh, flower store, or you can actually, you'll find these at your grocery stores and stuff like that, but it's supposed to be a Phalaenopsis mini. And, you know, as far as I know, and my luck with Phalaenopsis is they're relatively hardy, um, orchids. And I'm hoping that, um, by keeping them in this, uh, humid conditions, you know, I'll just have to pay really good attention, make sure I don't get any root rot, but it's got a lot of really nice blooms. And I really just, I think that white just added a lot to the tank. There's already a lot of, you know, we got the pink star bromeliad going on. We got the purple wanderers. We got the, the red in the, in the pitcher plant. Um, and a lot of other things throughout. I really thought that white was a nice touch with the, the yellow bells in the center. Um, and it's just like I said, I got it mounted kind of close to that cork bark uh, waterfall feature. So hopefully that'll provide adequate uh, humidity. But like I said, I'll have to pay attention to make sure we don't get any root rot with that. The uh, Australian fern is doing really well, starting to get that die off underneath that I was I was hoping for, creating that nice shaded area. And then you'll notice here in the front to encourage my red eye crocodile skinks to come out more. I have a feeding dish which I have um, I keep my uh, one part calcium with vitamin D3 two parts the mineral supplement and then I add uh, some wax worms for fats um, mealworms and super worms for them to come out and graze on and hopefully with that collection cup being in the front it'll encourage um, a little bit more of that um, out front and open behavior but tank is doing great so I just wanted to give you guys a little update um, I don't really have anything in that pot right there it's just filled with uh, the sphagnum moss right now but I didn't want to because these uh, this creeping uh, fig I think it is the plant on the back wall is actually shooting up really nice along that back wall and the only other feature that I haven't shown yet is I bought a monsoon 
misting system which has been cutting back on on how often I have to like water the pitcher plant which I think is also adding to its growth um, but I think that's doing really well um, and I, I'll have another one coming up on this side over here in the near future but I'll just have to be careful that that orchid doesn't get any direct spray it's mostly going to be for that um, back wall and that uh, Australian fern just to keep the roots nice and wet and keep it nice and humid in there for the red eye crocodile skinks but yeah there's just a little update and per one of my viewers actually he recommended cleaning the glass with uh, the white vinegar so I really appreciate that and I appreciate all the subs and all the comments likes you guys it's it's a huge booster and knowing that I'm doing something right and that you guys appreciate this little vivarium and that you know hopefully I encourage you guys to be as creative and um, you know desire something like this in your own home because you know just being in the hobby for years and uh, committing to something like this for my animals and making sure they have um, what I feel is uh, ideal condition and more naturalistic environment um, you know that's what it's all about is making your animal comfortable and happy and that's what I've tried to create here plenty of swimming areas not just soaking areas and and all my little male guppies down here these guys are starting to look pretty damn cool so I'm just loving guppies too they're just so simple so easy to keep and they add a lot of color and personality to the tank and activity to the tank um, and actually I have started seeing my red-eye crocodile skinks come out a little bit more let's see if I can zoom in here okay so over here yeah you're getting a little reflection but can't really help that but uh, underneath that cork hollow they got it dug out there they actually live underneath there so they they come out I've seen them on top sticking their head out um, right about let's see without screwing up my finger here right about there in the reflection you can see my finger and then they come out from underneath here um, but uh, yeah they that's where they come out and they've also noticed they've dug out in uh, this area back here where I got some dead leaves and stuff like that and basically that's just me pruning back um, any of the die-off from some of the plants I put that in there for my springtails to kind of break down and stuff like that still got to get some isopods in here I haven't seen them in in there for a while but uh, hope you guys enjoyed just a little update and then uh, here coming up in the very near future I'll show you my community pea puffer tank and how well that's doing Ugh. yeah that kind of sums it up but I will show you what we're gonna go ahead and do to correct that Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you keep it, keep it crawling. Later.